It's not always easy to get good looking, smooth and stable footage when filming underwater, in particular when you shoot macro. Now in this video today I want to take you along with me on a test of my own where I'll try a new feature that I've just recently discovered on my GH5 to see whether it helps me get smoother, more stable shots underwater. Coming up! Hi and welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for tuning in. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matthias and I'm an underwater cinematographer and filmmaker based right here in Zurich, Switzerland. Now the feature that I've talked about is a feature called IS Lock and what it basically does is um, transform your handheld GH5 into something that looks like you've put it on a tripod. Now have a look at these shots that I've taken on land, handheld, and then using the IS lock as well. Now the handheld shots, they um, are using the um, IBIS, the in-body stabilization, that is really, really good with the GH5. So they are already quite stable, but then putting the IS lock into action, you can clearly see what magic that does and how much more stable the shot instantly looks. Now I'm interested in seeing whether or not I can actually use this feature underwater, in particular when filming macro. Now I've heard that this feature only works if it's a not moving shot, so if it's uh, basically a static shot um, and you've got some action happening in the shot, so perfect for macro filming underwater I would say. And I'm really curious to see whether or not this will actually make any difference to uh, just having the IBIS on on the GH5. Obviously the best option when you're shooting macro underwater is always to have a tripod with you. But sometimes you don't have a tripod with you for whatever reason um, or in other situations it's just not practical or it's not possible to use a tripod. Let's say you're in midwater and you want to film something really small, um, you just can't really use a tripod there. Or if you're over a coral reef and you, you can't place the tripod anywhere without damaging the reef. By the way, never damage the reef for a good shot. But that's also not possible, so you can't really use a tripod there. So in these situations, it would actually be cool to have an option that gives you fairly stable shots, but just hand-holding them, hand-holding the camera underwater um, when shooting smaller stuff. Now all these shots that I'm about to take are gonna be uh, shot on the GH5 with a Canon 100mm lens using a Metabone Speed Booster um, in a Nauticam housing and the appropriate um, port for that as well. I'm also using a Atomos Ninja 5 uh, monitor in the according Nauticam housing. So that's the equipment that I'm using. I'm gonna show you first of all a shot um, taken off my little assistant, Mr. Peanut, which you'll meet in a little bit once we're underwater. Um, so I'll take a shot of him um, on the tripod, using the tripod, then I'll take a shot of Mr. Peanut not using the tripod, just hand-holding it, not using IS lock, but just the IBIS, and then last but not least, I'll try using it hand-hold with IBIS on and IS lock on, and we'll see the difference, and you can decide for yourself whether or not it makes sense at all. So, enough talking, let's get ready, let's put our gear on and hop into the water. Let's go.
And we're back at the office after a rather challenging dive this morning in the Lake of Zurich. As you would have seen, the conditions, the um, visibility wasn't the best today in our um, house lake here. But nevertheless, we've gone through with the testing and I have to say that I have not very pleased and I'm even slightly disappointed with the results. I was expecting a lot more from the IS lock, seeing how it works on land and I think it really does work quite well on land. Underwater for whatever reason, it didn't seem to work that well. Um, obviously without discussion, the most stable, the best shot when trying to shoot something small like our Mr. Peanut that you got to know this morning see it's just about the size of my thumb so trying to capture something small as this um, handheld is very difficult the best way is still to do that using a tripod underwater then the shots using ibis they were as expected I've done that many times before I know where the limitations are and then using ibis and the is lock i was actually expecting a little more stability but for whatever reason i didn't really get it first i thought it was because i was doing the tests in a very shallow part of the lake i was only in about two meters of water because i wanted to get plenty of light coming in and further down the visibility started getting really really bad so I thought maybe it was because there was a bit of a surge or something going on um, in the shallow part of the lake and that was making it difficult for me to actually keep the camera um, steady. So I did go a little bit further down and I ended up in around 9 meters or 10 meters. I did the same test there again. Again obviously no surprise there, the tripod worked great. Um, the IBIS worked so-so and also the IBIS and the IS lock worked so so um, maybe there is a slight performance increase in uh, using the is lock on top of the ibis with the panasonic gh5 but it's not so dramatic that i would say this is a feature that i must have when shooting underwater i would still definitely recommend to take a tripod with you whenever you want to shoot macro in particular when you're shooting with a longer lens like I was shooting with the uh, Canon 100 millimeter um, macro lens so with these kind of lenses you really want to put the camera on a tripod get a proper stand and proper stability before you start shooting um, close-up or macro shots as mentioned before, keep in mind though, be respectful to the environment. Don't just put your tripod everywhere. Make sure that where you put your tripod is either rocks, stones or dead surface there where you can't really damage anything when putting your tripod there. Um, and that was basically it for our test today. Um, as I said, as a summary, I expected a little more from using the IS lock um, underwater for handheld macro shooting. I don't think it is a huge improvement over the IBIS um, in the Panasonic GH5. Maybe it's something that you can use on wider shots if you're doing landscape shots and you're not moving too much. Maybe you can get a little more stability with it that way. I will definitely try that out um, one of the next times I'll hit the lake and go for a dive. Until then, I cannot really say that I'm convinced with the um, IS lock, at least not underwater. On the surface, for me, a slightly different story for now. So now I'm really curious to hear what you guys think. Have you ever tried using the IS lock um, underwater when shooting handheld, wide angle or macro? And if you have so, what were your experiences? I'm really curious to find out and see whether um, your experiences match the one that I just made today. Please feel free, put them down in the comment section and let's start a discussion on this topic. Also, as always, if this video was useful to you if you've got something out of it if it even was a little entertaining if you've learned something please to hit that like button you know it means a lot to me and also consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing on any future content about underwater videography coming out on this channel thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video